when I first went over there in 2013-14, when I went over there to uh, Disco play a basketball game with the Harlem Globetrotters, it's, it's supposed to be like just a, just a, you know, everyday uh, adventure. It's supposed to like going to get paid, shake some hands, take some pictures. But little did I know the fact that when I was over there with the Harlem Globetrotters, that I was going to meet the marshal, Kim Dunn. I didn't even know I was going to meet him. And I was sitting on the bench, and his advisors came down uh, <clears throat> by the bench and came and grabbed me and took me upstairs to sit beside him. So basically, that's how that all started. He wanted to meet me. And basically, if you see the game, and I'm talking to him the whole time about basketball. And he loved the Chicago Bulls. So basically, he, had my, he asked Michael Jordan first, and Michael Jordan said no. So then he asked about me, and I said yes. And that's how that all started. To me, he's a kid. He's only 34 years old. And the fact that he's been inherited this situation. He didn't build this. He's only 34 years old. His grandfather and father built this. He just inherited it. But right now, he's, try, he's trying, to, trying to branch out. He's trying to branch out, but he don't, I don't think he knows how to do it just yet. But I think in time, it's going to happen. I'm not saying that I love Kim Jong-un. No, I said he's a friend because he treated me as a friend. And people keep missing this as like, I'm just, I'm supporting this guy. Like, oh, he's my best buddy. No, I'm saying he treated me as a friend. So that right there opens the door for everyone else to say, okay, great. Let's give this guy a shot. I mean, he's been a monster. I mean, he's killed his own people. He starved his own people. Mm. How do you deal with that and reconcile it? We're talking about moving on in the future. If he does anything, I don't know anything about that. I was there. I saw his sister, his uncle, and stuff like that when the Harlem Gold Trotter. I was there. They sat right behind us. I was right there. I don't know anything about what he did. I don't know anything negative about the military, stuff like that. I was there just because of sports, because of sports, nothing else. Just bringing up the two countries together about sports. Everything else, that's the government's position to go over there and try to reconcile and try to do something that makes the world a better place. That's not my job. My job is for sports.